Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to go through my uh, Wax Melt Home Fragrance Empties from this first week of June. Let's see, June 1st through the 7th. Um, I have one non-wax item actually. I, uh, in the new house, we finally moved, we got everything finished moving over. I think I'm gonna probably, well, I talked about it in a video I recorded. I'm behind on posting. Um, but in the new house, I can actually, I've got some plugs that I can put wallflowers in. And so I used up these vanilla snowflake wallflowers. Um, actually, I think there's only one of these left. So I used up a vanilla snowflake wallflower, but get to get this bulky packaging out of my, uh, out of my house. <laughs> Um, let's do, actually let's do clamshells next. Um, I'll start off with this from Magic Candle Company. This was in my early June melting basket. Um, this smells nice. It is, it does not last long. It's not a strong thrower, um, but it is a nice kind of floral fragrance. I had a clam from Magic Candle Company that I got. I got all got their top 10 sampler. You can watch the video. Um, I'll link it down below. Got the top 10 sampler, and um, one of them has just like totally gone off. It's actually the bakery one, unfortunately, because that one smelled nice. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, the that one went like totally off and so when I started melting this I sniffed that and I'm like oh lord like I can't I have to melt through this so I just used up the other I, I put two cubes in for each melt I would not repurchase um some vendor wax here this is I think the only vendor wax clamshell I have besides that one which we're not going to talk about anymore <laughs> salted peppermint from the bathing garden as in a pepperminty mood so that was nice I uh, I melted it I think twice I had two cubes left bathing garden I only use one cube at a time uh, next up is Scentsy I did finish up one of my bars of Mandalorian Air of Adventure this actually worked okay in the bathroom still not super strong didn't last a long time either but um, you know for like a day or so I was able to smell it and use it in there. So that's what I did. I have a, another bar of that still. Um, more Scentsy. This is Blue Grotto. This is a consistent favorite of mine. It's a strong performer. Good scent. Good throw. Good longevity. Um, so this is a good one for me. I always repurchase. I have, I think, one more clam of this. Yeah, I think I've got one more clam. Um, but then I definitely will rebuy this. If you like like those citrusy scents, Blue Grotto would be for you. And then from Goose Creek, this was also in my June melting basket video. This is White Coral. This was a six pack. I finished up the whole thing because I melted it once in our mudroom thinking, oh, well, I'll be able, like, you know, I had some other stuff in there that just like threw around the whole house. So I melted it in the mudroom, I couldn't smell it. Melted it in the kitchen, couldn't smell it. And so then the last two cubes, I melted one at a time in the bathroom. Honestly, I still couldn't really smell them. Um, very light scent for sure. Um, probably wouldn't repurchase, just like the fragrance itself wasn't really memorable. Um, I've got two from Yankee Candle here. Uh, the first one is Lemon Lavender. This is a really nice, really, really nice scent. I like that. And then here, and I left in the clam little like container. It's not really a clam. The little plastic holder I left on this one. This is Sicilian Lemon. I have this going in my kitchen right now. I love Sicilian Lemon from Yankee Candle. All of their lemon scents are really, really, really nice. So, so those are good. Uh, would probably rebuy both of those and probably in the maybe in the singles if I can get the centerpiece cups on sale I might do that instead but the singles I can get on sale pretty consistently so there's that next up I've got some bags so here this is moody with a booty this is 
a sample from L3. I don't know what the notes are on this. The scent description's not on the website yet and she was changing over the website too. So like even if <laughs> the scent description had been on the website, I think she said today that she doesn't have notes up yet. So um, it, this does smell nice. It smells fruity. That's all I really get from it, but it smells good enough. Uh, two here from the bathing garden. The first one being a queen's decree. Oh, off the top of my head and I didn't write them down. The scent notes for this, I'm not sure, but I know on cold it smelled really minty, but when I melted it, it did not smell quite as minty. Um, it smelled nice. I melted it in the bedroom. Um, yeah, um, peppermint type situation is what I recall of that one. And then Alice's Memory Garden. This was a very floral uh, sample, not one I would necessarily repurchase. Also melted a sample from the pharmacist's daughter. This one was in raspberry tart. This was really good. Uh, I liked that one a lot. And then I used up four little baggies from Vapid Wax. So uh, first one here I've got is chai. This was nice. It was not super spicy. Um, a pretty good scent there. Uh, honey Almond Paramel. I didn't like this in the bag, but melting, I couldn't really smell anything. So it didn't bother me then. Uh, Cider Lane Donuts. This was really good the first time I melted it. The second time the throw wasn't really there. Again, that's why I'm trying to use these up. And then finally, cider. This one I could smell. It was nice. It was kind of a spicy cider, um, but not like nothing too, too unusual. Not something I would necessarily go and seek out. And that is it for my empties for this week. I feel like most other people who do weekly empties videos end up with a lot more but every week, <laughs> but um, I'm still just kind of going through that melting basket that we put together um, and I will post another update about this time next week. But thank you guys all so much for tuning in and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.